games. I can't wait to run through all of them. We're about to run through all of them. And we got to start with LeBron James. We showed you him in the intro. So we know that initially he was questionable, but now he's going to play tonight against the Pacers. He sat out a game against the Knicks. The Lakers take that L. So, um, Zeke, starting with you, we know that there's been so many questions asked about this Laker team. They take this loss right now. They're in the ninth spot in the Western Conference. And I saw this stat that was interesting. So in the six games of the 19 that they played so far, they've been down by 25 or more. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, how worried should Lakers fans be seeing the state that the Lakers are in right now? Well, well they should be worried. Um, and, and the reason why they should be worried, because, you know, that stat that you just talked about, you know, that, that really reflects on the defensive side of the ball. And on the defensive side of the ball, what you need to be good at is you got to be able to have great energy. You got to be able to have great intensity. And you got to be able to, to sustain that as well as follow the defensive game plan. Now, they're smart enough to follow the defensive game plan, but do they have that intensity and energy to bring every night when they need it? You know, we saw in, in Detroit, you know, Brendan, that they, they were able to find that, that energy, that emotion, that intensity after the fight, you know, after the skirmish. And then they were able to, you know, get into the game uh, on the defensive side. Anthony Davis dominated the game. But then they go to New York, and again, that defensive energy just isn't there. So I, I, I would be worried if I'm a Laker <clears throat> fan or if I'm, you know, a Laker player right now. Mm. I think you have to be worried if you're a Laker fan because some of the things that you're seeing right now aren't going to translate to winning championships. Not a great defensive team. Everybody talks about the three ball. Look at the teams that have won recently. Milwaukee was a good defensive mm -hmm, team. Mm -hmm. uh, when Golden State was on their run, yeah, they could shoot, but they were a good defensive yep. team. Toronto was a good defensive team. The Lakers team that won was a good defensive team. The three-point shot is a tool in this era, but defense still wins championships. The Lakers have to get better defensively. Russ, ha Russ is going to have to value the ball. And the main thing that I think that people aren't really talking about enough, if the Lakers are going to win a championship, it's not going to be LeBron. Anthony Davis is going to have to be the best player on that team. Yeah. He's younger. It's his time to ascend. They've been, they've been together for a couple years now. It's time for him to take the torch. If the Lakers are going to win a championship, he's going to have to be the guy in the playoffs averaging 30 and 15. Because LeBron's 37. Yeah. Was it 38, 37? Yeah. He's getting up there. That's 19 like, seasons. Yeah, 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 we know yeah. that. So we can't ask LeBron to carry the load anymore. AD has to make his way back into that conversation of being a top five player because his name has fallen out of that list. I can give you five without even blinking. Yeah. yeah. You know, Giannis, yeah. KD, Luka, uh, Steph Curry. Like, like you can just, the Joker. That's five right yeah. there. His name has to be yeah. back in that conversation and he has to be able to dominate if the Lakers are going to win a championship. It's going to be Anthony Davis being that guy, and yep. he has that type of talent. And one thing you spoke about, the defensive intensity, we know that they still don't have Kendrick Nunn yet uh, back yet. We're still waiting on Trevor Reza. So those are pieces who are definitely going to be valuable as they come down the home stretch of the season. Well, th those are pieces that are going to be valuable. But now, now you move to the bench in terms of you know, your coaching staff. And now you're going to have to say to – you know, some people with some long resumes and have had some big accomplishments in this league, you may not be able to play tonight or in this game, and you're going to have to let somebody play with some energy in the game. So can their coaching staff manage that and handle those conversations? And, you know, Steve Smith said something the other night that, that was, you know, pretty glaring. You know, you, you missing Jason Kidd. <clears throat> You're missing Lionel Hollins. You know, two people that was on that bench that players, you know, respect it and they can get in people's face. Those guys aren't there anymore. So who are going to be the people to have those hard conversations? They still have one guy, in that, Phil Handy. Phil Handy's been respected everywhere he's oh, been. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. respected. Yeah. He but, can have that conversation. But he can't have it with all of them. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I, I'll say as, as somebody you know that played I mean? with Phil in Cleveland, yeah. He was a guy that he, he can maneuver. F Coach, Coach Phil Handy can maneuver okay. from whether, whether it's just working guys out on the court or whether it's having that tough conversation. If you, yeah. if you really think about when Cleveland won the championship, that championship, and you see Kyrie Irving celebrating, who's he celebrating with? Yeah. He's on the floor with yeah. Phil Handy because yeah. Phil was the guy that would talk to him. So if you can have those conversations with Kyrie, you can have them with anybody. So I still think 
they have lost some of those voices, and if somebody's going to be the voice behind the scene for the Lakers, it can yeah. definitely be Phil Handy. He's got that in his toolbox. Well, if, 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 they can, if they can get all that right, right, and they can get the egos and the energy right, then those resumes yeah. that, that walks out on the floor, you know, they're, they're definitely good enough to win a championship, and they're definitely good enough to come out of this.